dill pickles, sweet pickles, bread and butter pickles, refrigerator pickles, even Kool-Aid pickles. You name a pickle, and I've probably tried it because I love pickles. But there's one vintage pickle I'd never heard of, and that's the Saucy Dilly Dugout. Essentially a pickle that's been hollowed out and stuffed with diced hot dogs, this is a vintage recipe that is screaming to be made modern. So let's start out by learning a little bit about pickles. It is believed that pickling vegetables and meats is one of the earliest forms of food preservation. When you submerge food in either highly salted water or in vinegar, it blocks the formation of bacteria, which is what causes food to spoil. This was how our ancestors preserved fruits and vegetables for the long winter months when both were scarce. Now, Americans have always been pickle crazy. As a matter of fact, the average American eats eight and a half pounds of pickles per year. And we prefer dill pickles to sweet pickles by a ratio of two to one. My favorite American pickle story is that of the Christmas gherkin. It is a tradition amongst millions of Americans to hang a pickle ornament on the Christmas tree and the child that finds it first gets a little present. It was said this tradition hailed from Germany, but it turns out this is just a myth and nobody really knows the origin of the Christmas pickle story because it only seems to be practiced here in the United States. As for today's stuffed pickle recipe, we know exactly where it came from, which is a mid-century advertisement for Heinz Dill Pickles. And I can't wait to both make and taste this bit of pickle history. In a bowl, combine half a pound finely chopped frankfurters, two teaspoons finely chopped onion, half a teaspoon mustard, half a teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, half a cup grated Canadian cheese, which apparently means cheddar cheese, and a quarter cup ketchup. Next, cut one dill pickle in half vertically, then scoop out the middle. Fill the pickle with the frankfurter mixture and then serve as an appetizer. Wow, in my head this tasted a lot better than it turned out. You know what's getting me? The cheese. I don't like the, the cheese with it. It's freaking me out. No, yeah, it's, it's the cheese. It's just working against, maybe it's cause I used like sharp cheddar cheese, but it's really working against what should be a delightful pickle. Though the frankfurters, um, with a little bit of ketchup and whatnot, isn't that bad. I think if you made this without the cheese, it would be edible. It's not good. Thumbs down on this one. I'm so disappointed. I thought it was gonna be good, but it just isn't. I like the idea of stuffing a pickle, but instead of using the typically American flavors, I decided to make it modern by making my own Thai-style pickles and then stuffing them with a filling of crispy beef topped with fresh herbs. Begin by peeling a long English cucumber. I like to peel the skin into long thin strips to make a striped effect. Next, cut the cucumber into one and a half inch slices and place in a large mason jar. Add half a cup sliced red onion and two small green chilies that have been thinly sliced. In a saucepan, heat up one cup of unseasoned rice vinegar with half a cup water, half a cup sugar, and two teaspoons salt until everything has been dissolved. Pour the mixture into the mason jar to cover and then cool. Once the jar has cooled down, add a handful of fresh cilantro and place in the fridge. This can be eaten within hours or days of making, but remember, the longer it sits in the fridge, the stronger the flavor. When it's time to make your appetizers, drain the cucumbers, but remember to reserve two tablespoons of the pickling liquid. Remove the cucumbers from the rest of the vegetables and then scoop out the center of each piece using a melon baller, then set them aside. To make the filling, in a skillet over high heat, add some oil and wait a few seconds for it to turn shiny. Add three sliced or minced garlic cloves and cook for about 30 seconds. Next, add half a pound of beef 
and cook until it is crumbled and brown and crisp in spots, about six to 10 minutes. While the meat is cooking in a small bowl, combine the two tablespoons reserved pickle juice, one tablespoon soy sauce, half a tablespoon fish sauce, one teaspoon brown sugar, and a few squirts of sriracha. When the meat is done, pour the sauce over the beef and let cook until the liquid has mostly evaporated. Turn off the heat and then stir in two tablespoons freshly squeezed lime juice. To make the Thai pickled cucumber cups, fill the cups with the meat mixture and then sprinkle with thinly sliced fresh basil and mint. Ooh, it's a little spicy, it's got a little kick. The pickle itself is delicious because it's a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy, and then it's got a kick at the end from the peppers you put in, and it works perfectly with the crispy texture of the beef that is super savory from all the flavors we put into the sauce, and then the whole thing is brightened up by the fresh mint and basil. It's like a perfect little Thai bite. Delicious. This is way better than the vintage original. As you can see, these Thai style cucumber cups are an excellent example of vintage inspiration made modern. If you liked any of the home goods in today's video, you can find them at my online store, retrodepot.co. Just click the link in the description box below. I'm leaving, goodbye. Wait, where are you going? It's a doozy. A doozy of a dilly. Okay, I stuffed pickles. Okay, oh, it was so loud. Was I really loud? Fried pickles, even Kool-Aid pickles. Sorry, I choked on that one. Just gonna squeeze all the creativity right out of me. I, my mind is literally a blank. I've got nothing, I got no pickle humor for you. I don't know what to say though. Nothing might come out. <laughs>